Hello, my name's Snake Appraiser and welcome to my world. So I was planning what to do this episode and I was looking over the board to see what the state of everything was. So let's take a quick look at that and see how we're getting on. So looking at the board, we've got a great to-do list of 2020-ish. I think the one thing that we can definitely say we have done is hide the kelp farm. Let's tick that off. The one thing I'm not happy about saying that we have done is decorating the house. We've done a lot of stuff on the house in the last episode. However, I think there's more that can be done. And part of that is tidying up. On my stream yesterday, we tidied up some things. But there's certainly a lot more to go there. But in the interest of making sure we don't start anything before we finish something, today we're going to get on with the villager breeder. So, as you've noticed from previous episodes... The villager breeder is it's not very good on account of a lack of villagers and also this type of villager breeder being broken in the latest update. So I've been busy. What I've done is been breeding a couple of my traders down here. These two lovely people. Fortune and Mending, or better combinations. And we've got ourselves three villagers. Breeder, breeder, breeder. And the good thing about these villages is they're already contained within minecarts. Hello. And we've got a spare one. I'm busy playing bounce the minecart in the middle. There we go. Good fellows. Well done. Can I have that back? There we go. Went right to sleep. Also, we have started... Oh, there we go. If only I knew my way around my own base. We've started to put in some tracks... To help with the great villager move. I haven't tested this yet, so it could be hilarious. But it's leading off over here. So, it makes sense that we put our villager breeder over here, doesn't it? Since that's where the tracks go. I've got an idea for a design. And we've marked out a particular point where it's going to fit. So in today's episode, we're going to be putting our villager breeder up here. Now that I've collected my things, we've got nothing else left to do other than to start the time-lapse music and start this building this villager breeder. Welcome back. As you can see, we created a villager area for farmers to come in and do farming. Uh, there is a lack of farmers here right now. We have also created an area that the baby villagers will try and get to, because obviously they love jumping up and down on beds. However, because there's the trapdoors, they will fall into the water, at which point they will fall down there into the air pocket. As soon as they grow up into adult villages, they will be pulled up into the water, across the top and down the bottom there. This is a Logical Geek Boy's design. It's fantastic. Uh, his design has five beds. And unfortunately, because I've built the villager lifter so close, it means I've actually lost one bed space. So we'll see if four works. Um, we don't need 
that many villagers, so we'll see how we get on with it. Also, this isn't terribly safe from mobs, so that's something else that we're going to be looking at maybe a little bit later on to try and get this working. First things first, let's see if we can get some villagers up here. Of course, getting villagers and wrangling villagers, everybody knows, is a nightmare. That's much better. I suppose the proof of the pudding is in the villager roller coaster ring. Let's try that. Luckily, we've got some crash test villagers. Oh, he's off. Ooh. He's off. Here we go. Will he make it? What? Oh, get back here. Oh, he's a fast blighter, isn't he? Look at him go. Ha <laughs> ha! It works. Like your new home? Let's bring one more up. Ah, no. Ooh, okay. Mistakes were made. Good villagers, well done. So we need to stop them getting through the doorway. If I put in a block there, that means that they're unable to pass through the doorway because they can't fit. But the baby villagers can. So we've got a race now. And we've got a farmer. What trade have you got? Yeah. It's not a great I mean it doesn't it doesn't really matter what trade they've got. But if we can find a trade that is actually related to something that we're gonna be creating. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Right, so you're locked in now. Let's throw you some carrots. And you can be on your way. I feel like I owe all of you watching an apology. Especially those that have seen the first episode. My kids watched the first episode and told me off straight away. They said, you haven't closed the door. And they're right. They said, you haven't washed your hands. And they're right. So, I do apologise for that. They even said, you didn't put the toilet seat down. Which I have since done. So, because my kids gave me so much grief about it, I'm going to have to take down this toilet and move it somewhere else. And anyway, I think it looks loads better with that toilet in the corner of your lounge. Yes, we'll, we'll put that downstairs, maybe. And on that, the bedroom at the top of the building was lovely. The intention was it was going to have a view, which it now doesn't. So this is a bit of an ugly lump that sticks out of the top of the building. So at some point, we'll cut this top off. And we will move a more bedding and homely area downstairs here. We're not going to do that yet because we simply have too much stuff in here. Uh, we will also put in bathrooms and guest bedrooms and all those sorts of nice things uh, a bit more in here where you'd have a bit more privacy in a real home. Next job. Uh, let's take apart the old villager breeder and tidy up the area in here a little bit better.
Okay, look at this. So much more space for activities. Um, oh. Maybe too much space for activities? Let's quickly fix that. Much better. So much cleaner. Yeah, the tidying is starting. Also, there's a chest that's missing over there. That's also something that's been tidied up. We're getting there. We're getting gooder. Let's go and check in with the villagers, see how they're getting on. Excellent news. Look at that. Bosh. Straight away, baby villager. And what's the baby villager going to go and do? Oh! That's a shame, isn't it? Splendid. We'll take it. So that's worked quite well. We've got our villagers in there doing their thing. Farming and, you know... Making carrots and eating carrots and making little villagers, which is the goal of the job. Good job. Well done. Next. Try and make them a bit safer in here. Okay, welcome back again. Uh, now that we've finished most of the roof uh, of both areas, I'm feeling a bit happier that those two villagers aren't suddenly going to die from unexpected uh, zombie creeper yada 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 attack. We're leaving the railway here because there are other villagers that we will be bringing up here at some point. Uh, we're not going to bring them up yet because they're nice and safe where they are. We need to build a trading hall first. This is just the very first start of this. This has turned out well. Um, it's a good little design. Works well at creating baby villages. And works well at sorting them out. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll pretend we haven't seen that. I'll, I'll have a look at that and fix that. And then let you know what the problem was. Anyway, this bit's really good. Farmers are filling up with the carrots and, you know, doing whatever it is that villagers do to make new villagers. New villagers are appearing and they're running out lovely. So that bit works at least. So, oh. what's next? I have to tune in next episode to find out what we get up to. I'm going to leave you with a clip of when the creeper came to visit and inspect the work of the villager breeder. Yes, hilarity ensues. Feel free to watch this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers and gone.